So in the last episode, we talked about installing a local server on your computer. And in this episode, we're actually going to start writing some code in PHP. So as you guys can see before we get started, I really quickly want to mention that you should have the Apache MySQL service running inside XM's control panel. If you don't have this running, you won't actually see the code that we're going to write in this episode. So what we're going to do now after we have this running, we're going to go to the browser. We're going to type localhost inside our URL and hit enter. Now you guys are probably just going to have one folder from last lesson. I will have a bunch of folders because I do actually have more than one project, but just make sure you open up the folder you created in the last lesson. So I'm going to open up the one I called PHP lessons. Now in here, you guys will notice we do actually get a directory. The reason we get a directory right now is because we don't actually have a starting page for our website. Now, when it comes to starting pages, if we do actually open up our code editor and create a new document, if I were to save this new document as index.html, it would actually recognize it as a starting page. We can also write index.php and we'll also you know, recognize this as our starting page. So it doesn't really matter if you use index.html or index.php, it will automatically see this one as a starting page, no matter the extension. So after we save this as index.php inside our directory, of course, inside our root folder inside htdocs, then we can actually start writing code. Now, the thing about PHP documents is even though we have the PHP extension, we can still write HTML and JavaScript code in here. So if I were to open up, you know, just a very basic HTML5 layout, this is just a starting layout for a new website. We have the HTML tags up here. We also have the doc type. So we have the HTML opening and closing tags. We have the body tags. We have the head tags and just a small title tag in here with some meta tags. So this is a very basic, you know, starting layout for a website inside HTML. Now, in order to write PHP code, we need to use something called PHP opening and closing tags. Now, the way we write those is by saying lesser than question mark PHP, which by the way is the opening tag. If you want to close it again, you write question mark greater than. So everything that goes in between these tags are going to be PHP code. You, I should mention that you have to write these PHP tags if you want to write PHP code. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize it as PHP code. So in between these tags, we can actually start writing something. And the first thing I want to teach you guys is how to print something on the screen. Now in the last episode, I did actually show you guys an example of how to print something. I didn't really explain it very well, but I just kind of showed you guys. So we can actually write echo inside our PHP tags, which is essentially that we echo something out on the screen. We actually write something on the screen. So I'm going to say echo space quotation marks. And then we need to make sure we actually end the line of code by writing semicolon at the end, kind of the same way as we do in CSS when we do want to end off a piece of code. So in between the quotation marks, we can actually write something. So this time I'll say hi there. And do notice I did actually spell hi correctly this time. And if we were to save this and refresh it inside our browser, you guys will notice that when I refresh, it does actually see, oh, you got a index document and it's just automatically going to take me to it, as you guys can see right here. So right now we have a piece of text that says, hi there. Now, if I want to write something else, we can also use a statement or like a, a function called print. Now, print does the same thing as echo. There's, there's a couple of differences, but right now there's not really any important differences other than I should point out that echo is faster loaded inside your browser. So if you want to print some text and you want it to be fast, echo is faster, even though it's very, very, you know, little amount of faster it is. So we can actually go down to the print and write quotation marks again. And I can actually write my name. So we'll say hello there. Or, Hi there, Daniel. And we need to make sure we end it with a semicolon, of course. If I were to save this, refresh my browser. You guys will notice we have some text going on. Now we don't have a space in between here and that's because I do actually need to add a space after there and then we'll actually create the space for me. But these are two ways you can actually print out stuff inside a browser. Now I do want to point out, since we're dealing with text right now, you guys will notice I put, uh, what do you call it, quotation marks around the text. If I were to write numbers, we can actually go ahead and 
eliminate the quotation marks and simply write out some kind of number. We can write 12, for example. If I save this, it will actually print out 12. So you don't have to put it in quotation marks if you're dealing with numbers. You can, if I were to put these in quotation marks, it still would, will print it out as 12. But this time it's going to see it as a string, which is what we call it when we put, you know, a, a line of text inside an echo, for example. So right now this, you know, 12 is not seen as an integer, it's seen as a string, which is, you know, text. So this is two basic examples of printing out stuff. And we can actually also write equations inside these echoes. So even though we did just talk about printing out stuff, I also want to show you guys that we can actually calculate using PHP. So if I go into my echo and say 12, well, let, let's say something simple, 10 plus five, and I save it, refresh my browser, you guys will notice it says 15 because 10 plus five is 15. So we can also do very basic math statements, which is gonna become useful later on if you wanna do you know, functions or if you wanna make statements or if you wanna you know, just, just do something a little bit more complicated. We will have to do a little bit of math later on because PHP is a, a technical uh, you know, programming language. So we will probably be doing some math later on. Now, these are some of the basic uh, ways we can actually print out stuff. And that's what I'm going to focus on in this episode. In the next episode, we're going to talk about something called variables. And variables are something that we're going to use quite often in PHP. You're going to use it a lot in PHP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.